So we're back with some more scary ghost videos for you. So don't forget to like the video. That's the most important thing. Don't forget to subscribe if you already haven't and you keep returning. You might as well. And uh, let's just get into it then. Don't get scared. Slept in. Oh, spill. This really felt so sad. Well, like TikTok, someone's... going by the username Jody Lele, posted an unsettling video to her account on February 12th, 2021. In the video, Jody explains that she was sitting in her local hospital's waiting area right. when she was suddenly overcome with an immense wave of sadness that she couldn't describe. Well, hospitals are sad, aren't they? Though somebody to be fair. or something was staring at her. She clarifies that there was no one else around. So she decided to use a filter on TikTok called the ripple effect, which supposedly picks up heat signatures. Take a look at what happened. Heat signatures? Okay. Oh! The chair across from Jody seems to have picked up some sort of heat signature. What in the fucking Casper's going on here? Jesus Christ, I'll be shitting me fucking knickers straight he out of that door. That Can we pay knickers, love? Yeah, yeah, why? Yeah, I'm sad. just fucking shitting them. If this is indeed true, then it could mean there's some spirit lingering in the hospital. Perhaps someone who passed away. Well, yeah, there's like so many spirits in hospitals. Are you mad? It's even got little feet, look. No thanks. Ali Lyon is a Turkish YouTuber who runs a paranormal creepy, in a creepy channel house called Paranormal Me. He travels around Eastern Europe looking for the unexplained, often in abandoned and What the fluff is that? Yeah, absolutely in this video, not. Which was uploaded to the platform in January of 2021. Ali investigates an abandoned house that was recommended by one of his followers. It's rumored to be heavily haunted by more than one entity. As soon as Ali walks inside, it's immediately clear that the place has seen better days, as the house has been left in shambles. Damn. Now, I couldn't be doing this, especially on my own. Absolutely not. I'll be taking that bite, though, for, for a start, getting that ready, just in case I need to dip. Aside from the eerie state of the building, the YouTuber seems safe enough. I'm scared. For a while. At around the 17 minute mark, the OP steps outside. A heavy wind is blowing just as a storm rolls in. Undo it. As lightning lights up the sky, the camera picks up something rather chilling. Watch. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Oh! I see it! You can see there's a clear figure standing just <gasps> meters from the YouTube. For me! I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. Later, oh no, I couldn't do it. Nope. Nope. Oh, fuck me. Because this happened so quickly, the investigator doesn't even realise that someone or something was just metres away. Without knowing this, he proceeds to continue with his investigation indoors. Just a few minutes later, more strange things are caught on camera. The door slams shut despite there being no one else around. Bit wind. It happens again, this time in a different room. Oh, I, I, what's the point? Just leave. Yeah, that's enough to go, mate. Mate, what are you playing? At? It's not worth it. Not worth it at all. Don't wind me up. Uh-uh. The uh -uh. doors slamming, the eerie noises, and the raging storm eventually become too much for Ali as he decides to call the whole investigation off. Can you imagine just like... Raises the question of who or legit just out in the middle of nowhere. The storm. And you, this, all this happens to you, like... 
How are you not thinking? I could die right here, right now, and no one would be able to know that I'm dead. No one, no one would find me straight away. No one would be able to help me if I was in danger. Absolutely not. No way. It's not happening. You've got to be off your fucking tits, yeah, to be doing that. Oh, oh, fuck me. Absolutely not. Oh my days. 49-year-old Carolyn Walker from Bradford, West Yorkshire, was playing a game of peekaboo with her grandson when she decided to pull out her camera and take a photo of the young boy having fun and smiling. She didn't expect the photo would catch anything strange, but that's exactly what happened. In the photo, you can make out a transparent mode. figure just to the right of the boy's head. What Speaking in the fucking bride of Chucky is going on here? That she thinks the image is genuinely terrifying. She suspects that it's the ghost of her mother-in-law who died from a tragic accident eight years prior. The room where this photo was taken is filled with the mother-in-law's furniture, so Walker believes it has to be her. She notes that the figure looks to be wearing a white nightgown, as you can clearly see what looks to be an arm and a partial torso. To this day, Walker has no concrete answer for this photograph, and it looks like it's going to remain that way for the foreseeable future. Yeah, and do you know what else will be remaining that way? That whole fucking house, because I would have been gone. Or something else entirely. <laughs> Drop your theories in the comment section down below. There's no theories, mate. That house would have been up for flipping rent, up for sale, for whatever. The following video has unknown origins. The only thing that is known is that it was filmed at a wedding somewhere in South America. The old handicam footage shows seated guests at the wedding. Look at that kid! <laughs> Probably past that, innit? All seems perfectly fine until you notice someone unusual in the background. Watch. strange figure appearing in a white veil can be seen sitting down amongst the other people in the crowd. That's weird. That is weird. The rumour that's often paired with this mysterious piece of footage is that it's the spirit of a bride who tragically passed away in a car accident. I was just about to say it looks like someone just got married. This very church. Oh damn, that's freaky. Some viewers I don't, don't like quite that. buy the story and think it's I don't like that at all. that looks a bit transparent <laughs> on the old grainy footage. However, it is strange that they clearly seem to be wearing a veil, which would be in poor taste at someone else's wedding. So what do you think's going on here? Do you believe this is authentic footage of a ghostly bride captured on camera? Or is it all just a spooky internet? I'll tell you legend? what I believe, that everyone there is mental. That's what I believe, because absolutely not. Did someone die in this? Yeah. Well, I'm not coming. Cancel the wedding. There you go. Sorted. If you're a fan of paranormal investigation, then you've probably heard of a man named Maurice Gross. Nope. Gross was a British paranormal investigator that was well known for his involvement in the Enfield Poltergeist case from oh, 1977 no. to 1979. Oh, no. And was even portrayed in the film The Conjuring 2. In yeah, I don't want to know him. I don't want to know him. The following video Keep out my face. TikTok by a user named Ghosts Unexplained Mystery on November 11, 2021 and shows footage of Gross on an old television show from back in the day. The footage shows Gross examining what he believes to be one of the greatest ghost photos ever taken. Well, uh, I think that this is one of the greatest pictures of an actual apparition that I've ever seen, and probably ever likely to see. A man named George Todd was celebrating his anniversary when his wife suggested he take a picture of the entire group attending the event. He set the camera at a 10 second timer so he could be in the photo as well. The camera took two photos, one without a flash and one with a flash. Okay. In the photo with the flash, everything seems perfectly normal. A group of friends all smiling for the camera. Beautiful, beautiful. However, in the photo that was taken without a Who flash, the fuck is that? an extra person right in the middle of the table. Todd says he can't explain the photo and has no idea who the person is. This 
is what's unusual. Now, who is this Remi unusual? Reminds me of Harry Potter, you know, when they come out of the table, like, hello, when they start flying about and stuff. Pieces of potential paranormal evidence <coughs> I've ever seen. He also points out that the mystery woman is blurry and out of focus, while the other patrons appear perfectly fine. And they've got a big head. The woman is actually being see, can be seen behind the beer glasses here. You can see her, the, even the distortion in the beer glasses, she's quite solid. She's also slightly out of focus. Now, she shouldn't be out of focus because everybody else is in focus. She's out of focus. Well, that's literally impossible. It can't be a double exposure. She's actually inside that. How did she get there? So your conclusion then about the photograph is what? It's genuine and it is an apparition. In yet another appearance from Gross on an old television show, the investigator explains how he took on a case in Yorkshire where a couple reported that their son, who had died in a road accident, was appearing on their television screen. I took on a case in Yorkshire you are. where a couple reported that their son... Our TV would be straight out window. ...road accident was appearing on their television screen. They Aussie now, nah. the straight out. There you go. Off when they saw their son Shut it back, Garden. Wait for the scrap men. Here's the old photo here. You can see the mum sitting on the couch on the TV, which was said to be turned off at the time. There's a strange face. A strange face? Looks like a demon. The couple told Gross that they felt the room go cold and it was though something touched both their hands. The story. It started in October. Like freezing cold presents come round me, and like I could feel like something, like on my legs. Like, oh, feel weird. Touch me, like on my legs. Yeah, and I like get these cobwebs like over my face. Yeah, can I? What I left that The couple insist that the face on the TV looks exactly like their deceased son. If you believe that that is your son, then so be it. What what else where are you looking for? These are just a few of the cases that feature in Maurice Gross's rich and storied career. Sadly, he passed away in 2006. Ah, but bless him. He had a knack for unearthing what appeared to be some genuine paranormal encounters. Your conclusion then about this photograph is what? It's genuine and it is an apparition. This next clip was posted to TikTok by user. Dog Bob Callan catches ghost. Oh, here we go. Seems to show some here we go. We've got a fucking a knock a door one ghost. Security system. Take a look. Here we go. Oh, someone in the street. Someone in the street. I see him. Wait. How's it going? Watching that again, it's subtle, but there appears to be a transparent figure of a person walking on the right side of the screen. I see it. I see it. No, it's got, wait, that looked like a cut, though. That almost looked like a cut in the clip. And slowly across the yard. So if you look, it's all smooth, everything's gravy, everything's gravy. Then it cuts like that, and it almost seems like everything got a bit darker the then. He believes it to be a female presence, dubbing the figure a ghost. While it cut. certainly is strange that it appears out of nowhere and looks to be transparent, it's too difficult to say 100% either way what this actually is. Yeah, I don't know about that one. So I'll throw this one out to you, the viewers. Nah, I'm not sure. What's your take on this sighting? Let me know what you think down below. I'll tell you what I think. Absolutely not. Before we take a look at this the is why I couldn't have cameras all about, man, because I'd be checking them all the time, and if I see anything, I'm moving. I'm moving, I'm giving up everything. Swear to God. I don't want to know. In May 2018, 39-year-old Laura Watson was spending the day outside in the sun with her family at How is it a spooky family photo? She took a series of photos of her family in the park, but one in particular stood out as unusual. Why? Upon first glance, the image looks completely normal. However, if you look more closely, there's something not quite right about it. Oh, I see the it! Beyond the kids! The is Watson's young boy who's posing holding a ball. I'm gonna be sick. Just behind his left Don't shoulder. Is oh my god, boy. that better be another kid she's got. tilted and his skin appears grey. <sighs> Watson insists wow. that there was no one like else around when the photo was taken and certainly would have noticed a strange boy behind the tree. I feel sick. The picture scared the family so much that their young daughter had trouble sleeping for several nights after the incident. 
Watson says that she never used to believe in the paranormal. In That's got to be. That better be a fake. Incident, she's no longer sure what to believe. If that's not a young boy that was with them, then who could this actually be? Some locals said that years prior, a young boy actually drowned in the nearby Blythe River, leaving wow. many to speculate uh, that the serious bombs. boy in this photograph was actually deceased. Oh, well, that was the end of that video. Let me know down below which one you thought was creepy and if you thought any of them was actually real. Now... <coughs> That scared me. If I ever take a picture like that and I see something, ha ha ha. Nope. But anyway, like, subscribe, and until next one, I'm out. So that guys, take it easy.